What's going on guys? Welcome back to another unboxing. We've got the Foot Clan Action Figure 4 Pack Exclusive. Um, this is the Best Action um, Series. Um, it's got a really cool box. It looks like the old NES cartridges. You got all of the 8-bit style soldiers on the sides. The back shows the actual figures. It says, the Foot Clan. The Foot is an ancient ninjutsu clan founded in Japan in 1583 after taking control of the clan the shredder moved from moved them to new york city and replaced the human soldiers with robots they may not be the best fighters but they strengthen numbers and then you got all your weapons here pretty cool i don't know what i don't know what that's supposed to be it almost looks like a music uh like a note finder then you've got four players 31 points of articulation swivel bicep and thigh joint Double knee, shoulder, and elbow joints, ball joints for maximum posability. Um, these are made by Loyal Subjects. There's the final side there. And then a view of the inside of the box. You've got all four figures. you got the blue with the matching rifle. He's got some shurikens and those uh, weird looking psi like devices. The silver with the spear. He's also got a different spearhead as well, like a shuriken style thing. He's got a matching blaster as well. Then you've got your pink soldier with the tomfas um, and the sword. He's got a pink blaster. And then your orange soldier with another spear. And then he's got an orange blaster with a matching katana. So these are pretty cool looking, man. I really kind of just bought these for the box solely. Here's the inside flap. Again, just looks like a classic NES. Then on here, you've got the uh, extra lives, uh, the level select, and the level select plus extra lives. These are the classic codes for the video game. So pretty freaking cool box set. Um, I am not going to be cracking this open today, um, but I am going to crack open a regular foot soldier and do a review of that. So let me get that in here, and we'll take a look. So we're here we have a best action foot soldier this is the classic purple um he comes with a spear a blaster a couple of shurikens some extra hands um we are going to crack this one open sorry for the shakiness there's a side view of the comic art or the cartoon art then you've got kind of uh, details on the back it has that same description that the foot soldiers came with uh same 31 points of articulation so I'm going to get this out of the box and then we'll come back and take a look at it and compare it to some other foot soldiers. All right, welcome back. As you can see, these guys, when you try to compare them to a NECA figure, they are not anywhere in the same ballpark. This is a different level of figure. This would be more comparable like a G.I. Joe style figure, like a three and three quarters, because this is just a four inch fig. It's not a very big fig. So, right off the back, these things have really good movability. Um, you know, they've got kind of a clicking joint. Arms rotate all the way back, all the way forward. Double jointed elbows. Pretty good. Hands rotate. Um, your waist is a full 360. A little bit of crunch, not much. The head, I will say, hardly moves. You can rotate it all the way around, but it's... Um, it's tight and then the neck doesn't really move at all uh, same with the legs you do get pretty good articulation that is a extremely deep bend I mean you can't even you can't even bend any further just because the legs in the way so you get a very deep knee bend on both uh, both joints uh, legs rotate all the way around as well as come up just slightly not a whole lot um, they don't really move back further than that but they do come up in the front so you can get your football punt but you can't really move them backwards um, you do have a forward and back ankle swivel wow that is ridiculous you can go full broken ankle um, nothing side to side really um, and then no rotation in the shins so that's, that's pretty much on, on the articulation, that's about it. So let's set him back here and uh, take a look at some of the items he comes with. You do get this uh, spear 
weapon. Um, again, it scales really well with him. If you compare this to NECA, not so much. This guy's a giant in comparison. We're going to take a look. Of course, my camera is sitting down low, but you got your open hands. The plastic quality is a little off for me, especially the, the flesh parts, the hands. These are very much like, um, almost like a Barbie doll or, a, or like I said, like a G.I. Joe. It just feels like tight plastic. It just, I don't know, not, not a lot of uh, posability there. Pretty solid pieces. NECA's got that kind of rubbery feel. Even Super 7, the limbs feel just quite a bit different. Got your katana. Pretty nice looking little katana. It's got a nice little hilt on it. I like this little weapon. Um, you get a couple of very terrible throwing stars. These are thin as can be. Those will probably either break or get lost. This piece too. This almost looks like the kind of plastic that would be like the leftover pieces from a model kit. I mean, there is not much to this plastic. It is tiny. And then, of course, you get your foot soldier blaster. This one is in a silver color. Just a regular old classic color. So, pretty neat. I like it. Um, I don't think these figures are for everybody. Um, but I do enjoy them. Um, I think if NECA didn't exist and it wasn't on the market or Super 7... And we had to choose between this and Playmates every day, all day. This is 10 times better than what Playmates is putting out, in my opinion, um, here lately. Um, with those two packs that they just released. And then, of course, we got a visualization of the new two packs, which feature Street Fighter characters. Um, not a big fan of those either myself, to be honest. Um, the only thing I'm really looking forward from Playmates is their vehicle re-releases. And then, of course, their uh, they have that... Uh, last ronin figure looks looks pretty good so but yeah um best action not my favorite figures by um team and t but i do like these ones neca definitely has my heart you know these are just great figures and then of course i love super seven as well we'll come back one last little shot and just kind of compare the sizes all right one last shot here just to kind of compare sizes that is the box art that came with the foot soldier by best action but you can just see the mass difference in the size of these figures compared to NECA's figures so don't uh, don't go out and buy these if you're trying to team them up with your your turtles that you might already have this is something if you're wanting to just start collecting best best action then then you would want to go out and buy these um, they do look great in the box um, I love that four pack but um, again you know if you're looking for detail um and uh, dare i say quality neca is going to be your better bet um i do like the opposability of best action i like the uh the classic look the, the gi joe style but um uh, for me it's definitely neca and super seven all the way but i'll keep buying these best actions too i i do like them but yep i leave it up to you guys you decide you know you, you you're the ones collecting so but in my opinion, they do have a place on my shelves, but not my favorite. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Have a great day.